When it happened and when he would abuse me, I knew it was wrong, but I didn't know why. But when it was happening, all I could do was freeze. At that time, I just remember when it first happened and I just kind of lied there and just pretended that I was asleep still because I didn't want to confront the situation. I didn't know, you know, what was going on. When I was seven years old, I was a victim of child sexual abuse. And at the age of nine, I went to stand in court against the perpetrator. Unfortunately, my family and I lost the case, but with counselling support, I was able to heal and go on to live an amazing life. I know that the topic of sexual abuse is hard for people to talk about, and people are often too afraid or embarrassed to ask for help. So I decided to start my charity Brave to share my story and teach young people that there's support available to help them. And today I'm so privileged to be able to share my story to you and help you guys. I started school visits in my hometown Whanganui where sexual violence rates are high but educational services are not as common compared to larger cities. I thought it was really cool, especially for myself at the moment. We have my cousins actually staying with me because her family is going through mm. actually what Jess went through. Oh so my gosh. I thought it was quite ironic <laughs> that you guys came to talk to us now yeah. when all this stuff is going on with me. I found it really helpful for some of the girls who might be in a situation that they're uncomfortable with or don't know how to get out of and they can definitely find help now and they'll know where to go. It was amazing. Oh, I enjoyed it, I really enjoyed it and can totally relate to it. As well as sharing my own story to the students, I also taught them about healthy relationships, how to find help, revenge porn and consent. Consent isn't just for, um, for males as well, it's for females also. That um, consent is a big role in sexual activity, no matter what it is, even if it's a kiss. Another fun part of my project has been launching self-defence workshops, teaming up with the Jiu-Jitsu Academy to teach young girls how to feel more empowered and able to defend themselves. It was cool learning the technique, knowing that it will help me in the future, like when something really bad happens. I feel more confident and that like, if that ever happens to me, I'm more aware of what to do. While creating my own website for Brave, I've collaborated with Help Support Services, Rape Prevention Education New Zealand and Safe to Talk. I've also teamed up with a youth-led organisation, Action Station, to start a petition to present to government next year, calling for better policies to increase sexual violence education in schools and more cultural appropriate support services to help people affected. What's been most rewarding is receiving messages from so many young people who are also survivors saying that listening to my story helped them gain confidence and realise that they're not alone. Starting Brave has been my calling and my purpose. It's helped me turn a traumatic experience into something positive, giving me the opportunity to help so many young people in New Zealand. Once I return home from Miss World, I look forward to expanding Brave to other regions in New Zealand and hope to take it overseas to help people all over the world. Brave!